All right, and welcome back, guys, to another episode of Dots Home. Last episode, uh, I had a lot of fun narrating those voices, and I hope you guys did too. It was a lot of fun. Um, I did record another episode right after I was done with that one, and apparently my QuickTime player kept crashing on me. Uh, so I wasn't able to record all the way through, and it kind of sucked. And I went through like a whole section of where she went back in time, like this one right here. Um, and yeah, I wasn't able to do it or record it. So wherever I'm at in this now, guys, is wherever I'm at. So welcome back. Uh, I forgot to mention, if, uh, if you really do like this, comment something down in the comment section. Uh, tell me your, like, favorite voice or character or, you know, I don't know, tell me to, like, do something new in this. Because this is a lot of fun. This is a very, uh, very fun thing to do. Uh, also, you know, as always, subscribe, share, like, and yeah, let's get into Dot's Home! <laughs> Da 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 da. Dio motherfucking double T. It's that. Let's do it. I'm just kidding. Oh. So I, I guess it stopped like right at the end of this whole thing that I was doing, like how I was explaining. So I'll, I'll just start from here, I guess. Um. All right. Did you say you were employed at the auto factory? No, sir, not yet. I'll be going down there tomorrow to see about the job. Hmm, there's always a catch when dealing with you people. Lucky for you, this is a Negro neighborhood on the rise. I can make it easy for you to buy your dream home with a contract for deed where you just make monthly payments. And this is how Section 8 is created, people. I'd make a decision quick if I were you. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind if I hear another word. I need some air. I'm gonna take a walk and see how to get out of here. Yes, walking out of here is really gonna help. Let's see if Carlos is downstairs playing games. This door closed. Alright. Anything in this box? Can I walk outside? Uh... Let's get some fresh air, Dot. I'm confused too, man. Shit. How come there's a rope over here? <laughs> there's a newspaper. Alright. June 2nd, 1959. The Detroit Daily Post. Yo neighborhood could be next. Alright. Let's just read the first paragraph. Every house marked X is now occupied by Negroes. I'm broad-minded, said one homeowner when Negroes moved onto his block. But a short time later, he panicked and sold his home at a loss. In today's post, you'll read about how, spectac how speculators for racial change, how they use vicious tactics to force out the whites, and how one speculator brags that he could bust your block in at no time at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Look. Look at this. Your neighborhood could be next. I should have read it in that voice, to be honest. For sale. It's weird seeing the house for sale like this. <laughs> Kick the sign. Make fun of the sign. Ignore the sign. Well, if it was me, realistically, in this situation, I would have just ignored the sign and had a fun-ass time in 1959. But this is from Dot's perspective, life, and personality. So, I'm gonna kick the sign. Die! Bitch! Die, motherfucker! Stupid-ass sign, that's what you get. Inanimate objects have life. <laughs> I'm gonna walk up in this random house. Give me your shit. Alright, let's venture off, guys. Let's see what else we uh, we can explore. Maybe the community center's open. Oh, hey, the Greenlight Theater doesn't look like shit. Wow, this is one heck of a dream. 
Who knew I could wake up to something so detailed? A detailed? Alright. A historically accurate. <laughs> the Green Light Theater. Now showing imitation of life. Don't you believe in chasing rainbows? rainbows? What does that mean? Uh, I don't know if I want to go watch that. That sounds gay. Miss! Miss! It's that white dude again. Ugh! Oh, it's you. You had me chasing you for nearly two blocks. If I were you, I wouldn't go any further. This neighborhood is beyond point, not for your kind. <laughs> Sounds like what I'm farming in Minecraft. And that trader just keeps showing up and I keep telling him to fuck off, but he steps on my crops every time. Well, how about you come back with me to the open house? Wouldn't want you to get into trouble now, okay? <laughs> Please, listen to me. You're in 1959. I can find my own way back. Because I am an independent woman. Please, I insist. No, I insist. I'm gonna get sprayed down now or something? Bye-bye. I'm going to go hang out with my friends. My home is... I can't... Alright. Um. Let's go hide in the theater. They'll never see me in there. The theater is still open. Oh. The theater is still open. I can't go in there. No. Oh, jeez. Let's go in the alleyway, then. I guess we're going back home, guys. Right? Alright, let's go back to the home. Let's go say what's up to G-Pa and G-Ma. Oh. Maeve, I want to trust him. But this just sounds like the raw deal we had with old McCone and his farm back home. I know the money's tight, but I could do my sewing on the side to help out. We could really make this home ours, even if we have to just make things work. Yo. Hey, yo. Yo, Grandma and Grandpa. Anyone ever tell you that you are one weird gal? And you use slang that none of us used back in the day because we knew that it was bad and weird. I'm starting to think so myself. Any luck with the decision? We want the house, but that Murphy fella is just making us choose a contract for deed or rent in the place. Well, what's the difference? The way he tells it. We'd just be responsible for making regular payments on the house until the balance is paid off. Hmm. Hmm. And once that balance is paid off, the house is ours. Free and clear. Only thing is, if we miss a payment, just one, then we're back to square one. And we could lose the house. Never mind the fact that it could take us between 5 and to 50 years to pay the house off in the first place. <laughs> I just wish we could get a loan. As if the bank would let us in the door. I don't know why. <laughs> <They're> just, <laughs> the dialogue makes me want to talk like that. As if he's like a scholar or something. <laughs> He got a nice suit, man. He got a nice scholar suit. <laughs> Maybe we should find a place to rent nearby until the money isn't so tight. I'm tired of renting, Carl. We need to put down our roots. This is the only place that, that'll even take our money, and y'all heard what that white man said. If we don't take it now, 
we'll lose our chance. Plus, there are other families like us on the block. We won't be alone here. Nah, we won't be alone here. Dorothea, what do you think we should do? Oh, he's back. Better make it quick. Time's a ticking. I'm certain you two could make a great home here. Oh, hmm. Th is this going to affect when I go back to my current time? Huh. Well, in their case, realistically, they should rent. Because during this time, um, it was, you know, in these certain situations, it was better to rent than buy because... As you see in the future, the, you know, property taxes go up and everything else. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to rant it. Shit, the choice will be remembered. But your husband makes a good point. You should rent until you can really afford to buy this home on your terms. Because that's what any other regular person would probably do. I think you're right. Like I said before, I don't know why. But I trust you. Well, I don't trust, but I trust my Maeve. So I'll go with what you say, because I'm a cook. Wonderful. Mr. Hawkins, you cuck. If you follow me, I have some paperwork for you to sign. You cuck. I hope it worked out for you both, Grant. Miss Mavis. <laughs> I know we're about to be neighbors, but I swear, you already seem like family. What? Would you look at that? I seem to have misplaced my pocketbook. Let me go around and see if I can find it. Carl is right. You are one weird gal. Pocketbook? Are you talking about a cell phone? Who is this? These floorboards look really weak. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Store still locked? This door closed. Shit. Um, well, I'm supposed to be finding my pocket book, which is, I don't know what the fuck that is. I shouldn't go in there. I gotta go upstairs, motherfucker. I gotta get my pocket book. Show grandma. Hey, look, that leak is gone, but it'll be there again. Don't you worry. I hope when it is there and there's a bucket, you know, and it says bath water on it, you know, that's how I know, like, all right, they're taking care of that situation. Maybe I can use this weird key again. <laughs> Which weird? Oh, it's already glowing. They know I'm a dumbass, so they have to glow the key that I have to, I have to use. Here's the hope, and I'm not as out of place this time. <coughs> Cough. Excuse me, sorry. And we're back in the toke realm. She toked some toke and she got woke. Alright? Alright. Let's go. Da -da 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 -da. It's the deal, motherfucking double T. Snoop Dogg! This has to be a dream. I should sleep again. <laughs> I'm going to sleep again. Oh no, there was something up there. I missed it. Oh, it's still there. It's no use. I can't fall asleep. Things still feel really weird, man. Shit, maybe if I just go about my day, things will go back to normal. Alright. Well, I hope renting the place, you know. Whoa, it looks like the stain on my ceiling is gone. Um, guys, I think we're having a butterfly effect right now. I think my, you know, intellect really helped their intellect to make a good decision. I don't care what grandpa whatever had to say. Uh, I put that into my own perspective, so. Yeah. So you're welcome. Aw, oh, shit. 
Oh shit, it's locked again? I guess I'll use that glowing key. We're gonna go through another point in time. Can I use a different key? Can I use this one? I don't want to use that gold one. Ah, oh, shit, man. This is the way. Well, shit. Here we go again. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Oh, God. Where are we going to end up this time, fellas? Let's see. We back in the Tolk realm. We hit some of that ganj, you know that. <coughs> and now we're in. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little extra. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're here, or where we're at. What the fuck? Oh, there's a little mouse on the ground. Well, this place is different. It could use some fresh pain and maybe a... Wait, is that a mouse? Aw, oh, shit. <laughs> Why do you... <laughs> Am I chasing this mouse right now? <laughs> what the fuck was that? Come back here, little mouse. I'm gonna eat you. Yum, yum, yum. Why can't I ever find my wallet? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what the faces are, so I'm just going to do a regular voice. I don't know how you find anything with your head so firmly planted up your behind. Whoa. All right. That was some insults. Looks like somebody's getting evicted. <laughs> cool. Why do you want to see a movie about a serial killer in a project anyway? We live in a project. Yes, we do. And we can leave it too. Someone tell me why I married the most stubborn woman in Michigan. <laughs> Someone's got to be realistic around here while you walk around with your head in the clouds. Up your ass. I know these voices. They sound like... Whoa. Thank goodness. Are you the babysitter? Mom? <laughs> oh, she met her parents, guys. It's a family reunion. Oh, my God. It's a family reunion. All right, let's see. I mean, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean, ma'am. Sorry. I think you have a mistake with someone else. Yeah, I don't want to fucking watch over your kids. I, I mean, ma'am, sorry. I think you have a mistake with someone else. Look, you want to make 10 books? What are the options here? Long story short, I'm Evelyn, and this is my husband, Hank. We are running very late for our movie. Relax, we're not that late. We did not just fight for an hour to, for you to just tell me to relax, dumb motherfucker. It's not for no reason. Me and I almost have a really good idea this time. You know what? I, I think this is a good idea. Talking to the voucher they've been offering for us and renting a house that's close to a movie theater. I'm tired of driving out to Farmington Hills every time I want to see a movie. If what's good's a house without a community, that's not a home. Jeez. Ah, oh, shit, I'm gonna go take a walk. <laughs> I'm gonna go... <laughs> I'm gonna go mosey around. That man is driving me crazy. Please, come inside. Just, I'm gonna just let a random black person come inside my house. Whatever the white man... He probably offered me some money. Do, do, do. Dude, I wish it was given the music. This is pretty uh, funky music. Uh, are you all right? We've been fighting about this since we got the notice that we're turning these apartments into town. Or they're turning these apartments into townhomes. We can't do shit about it. They're supposed to be for the people who live here, but we all know how that goes. He wants to stay. 
I want to move on to something better. Simple as that. I always thought of living in a public household would be temporary. And then came our daughter, Georgia. And well, you know, life. Well, Georgia's been born already. That must mean I'm in the early 90s, before I was born. Weird. This is no place to raise a family. The building is literally falling apart in front of our eyes. And good luck trying to get management to fix anything once it breaks. Now that they're demolishing this project, we have an opportunity to take a voucher and move on up. Hmm. I'm with you. What's still to love about this nasty-ass place? Go in the inner cities with the round a bunch of, like, other folk, you know, and, and ruin their lives. There must be something keeping Hank here. There's probably keeping something Hank here, you know. He's probably got a side hoe on the side. Or he's got another family that he's hiding from, from this woman. So, uh, there must be something keeping Hank here. There must be something keeping Hank here. I mean, sure, we all, we know all our neighbors, and we all look out for each other, but we could find that somewhere else. Like I said, Pops has got a, he's got a side chick on the side, and he's not telling her about it. She's delusional. Hank doesn't see it that way. His best friend almost lives down the hall. Oh, it sounds like Hank and almost is getting really close. That's probably what's keeping him here. Those two are always dreaming up new business schemes, and this time, Hank swears it's legit. <laughs> They're gonna run with Nino in the Bronx and sell some crack. I want to be supportive, but I don't want to be stuck here. If we move out, we're giving our daughter Georgia better opportunities. Wow, I wouldn't expect you to be this stressed out. Hmm. You seem like a super calm under pressure type of person. At least from my experience. You psychic or something? If I freak out, Hank freaks out. You see why I wanna go some you see why I wanna go to some silly horror movies so bad. <laughs> I guess you need the escape. Exactly. Hey, do you mind grabbing Hank from Amos's place? I need to calm down and maybe find this man's wallet for him. Because he a dumb motherfucker losing it all the time. Let's see who the baby is. It's baby Georgia. This is Georgia as a baby. Sorry, there's music in the background, guys. Weird. Why would you call... <laughs> this is Georgia as a baby? Weird. It looks like a little chimp. Let's go on and let's venture off and find Hank with his side piece, Amos. Him and Amos are getting really close, if you tell, you know, if you're asking me. Looks like somebody's getting evicted, and it's probably Amos. <laughs> Man, this demolition stuff is bugging me out. What's the government calling it? Hope 4 or 5, 6? I don't feel a lot of hope about them knocking down our homes. I feel that. But keep your eyes on the prize. We finally got a winning game plan. Oh, it's him and almost. Yeah, that's dad. Let's see what almost looks like. Knock, knock, knock. Knock, 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 knock. I mean, if you were really sure we could get jobs work construction here while they build those fancy townhouses. Alright, there's a dude in there, so it's probably a white guy <laughs> or a Mexican, I don't know. Yeah, dude, it's the law and everything. I was looking at those flyers that they say that the crews working here got to hire people from build from the building. It's called Section 3. <laughs> Can they not hear me? Better knock again. Knock, 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 knock. 
Knock, 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 knock. I don't care how many sections they got. I don't care if it's eight. <laughs> we both know these big real estate and construction companies break the law all the time and get away with it. Honestly, it's worth a shot for me. We need the money to start our business, pal. Besides, being a construction worker smells way better than sanitation. <laughs> Guess I'll knock louder. <laughs> you hear that? Who's there? All right, the babysitter. Hmm. Looking a little cute. Come on in for a sec. What's your name? Dorothea. We'll just die. Huh. That's cute. Almost. This here's Dot. Come here for a second. I swear I put my wallet down here somewhere. I was gonna maybe give you some good money. <laughs> he wouldn't talk to his daughter like that. There's no way. Well, he doesn't know, so... Sorry to intrude, Evelyn. Mrs. Hawkins wanted me to come by and let you know she's ready to go. Oh, he... Who the fuck? This is Amos. Can she wait a few more minutes? My boy Amos and I were just in the middle of a conversation. <laughs> Hold on, guys. I gotta get into character here. Okay, get this. You see how me and Hank? We got a natural rapport. I'm the funny guy, and he's the straight man. I'm Abbott. The, the Abbott to my Costello. <laughs> Who's Abbott and Costello? The fuck? Y'all know Chief Keith and Lil Pump? Abbott and Costello? As in, who's on first? You know that. You know, you know what? Never mind. What I'm saying is, is that when we on the third shift, the drive to work is funny as hell. Cause me and Hank just riff off each other, laughing our heads off about anything and everything. When we on first shift though, we silent as a dual mouse, listening to the morning news. But wishing we could hear folks like us just talking and having fun, even during the 6 a.m. shift. So get this, what if we recorded our banter and sold cassettes of it? People working night shifts could have their own morning show to listen to, and maybe we could put like a beat in the background and maybe like, you know, do some rhymes. And don't get me started on advertising opportunities. We could read ads for local businesses. I can't believe you invented the podcast. Well, guys, it looks like they invented the podcast. These two fictional characters right here, unless they're based off of real people. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but... Yeah. Podwood! What the fuck? Podwood! What the fuck? Nothing, man. Just know you're truly ahead of your time, you heard me? I knew it was a great idea. Shit, Hank. And once we get hired working construction, we'll have the money to record in a studio all professional like, yes, sir. We can list Hood as a sponsor. A heads up display. <laughs> we can list heads up display as a sponsor. We'll have a health bar, stamina bar. We'll have experience points. Maybe we'll have like a little compass on the top so that you know where north, south, west, and east is? Shit. What's a heads up display? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm sure they have a thing for this. What's hood? Department of Housing and Urban Development. Oh, oh my god. They're the ones who decided to knock the building down and revitalize it. I know what they could also help revitalize. My bank account. Shit. Well, good luck with all that, Mr. Hawkins. I think we should probably get back to your place. I guess you're right, Miss Dot. See you on the flip side, almost. 
Smile your light, Hank. And I mean that literally. Because we got third shift tomorrow, you stanky motherfucker. Hank does look like he stinks. Oh, um, thanks for leaving your daughter in a fucking... Let's see what he has to say. Hey, little lady. Don't you got a baby to sit? Aw, oh, I wanted to interact. You know she would be chilling in here for another hour before she wants to go fucking watch those babies. Hey, it's Hank. What's up, Mr. Hank? Is it really so important for you to stay here? Listen, I know it's not anyone's American's dream house. But we all do our best to organize, keep it clean, do all the work that management doesn't. It's still a project. It's just, it's just, we didn't take care of it. Like how I'm saying that we're taking care of it. This graffiti on the wall and bottles and pizza boxes and people getting evicted because of domestic abuse charges and shit. I've been here a long time and I know everybody. I feel like if I leave, I'm saying all the time I spent here doesn't mean a thing. It's like I can't remember my past time and I won't remember the things I did when I lived somewhere else. Because when I go somewhere new, my mind changes. No, I'm just kidding. That's literally how we explained it, though. It's like who said we can only find an opportunity by leaving our people behind? Who are you leaving behind, bro? You've never heard of a fucking pager? You're in the 90s. You never heard of a pager? You never heard of a fucking phone booth? You can't just hit up somebody and be like, Hey man, I live somewhere else, but shit, let's link up at the bar and get a drink. You know, it, it's not that hard. I'm pretty sure this is what they did in the 90s. <laughs> not like nowadays, where it's all cuckery. Am I really just supposed to turn my back on almost? Just like, got mine. See ya. What do you owe that man? Fucking weirdo. You're sus, Hank. You're getting sus on us. Alright? Take this mouth. Take mouse. Take this mouse in your mouth. I'm sure he'd understand. Yeah, maybe he'd understand, but I don't want to lose that connection with him. You know me and our most. We's like peas in a pod. My dad always told me that the hardest choice is take sacrifice. She just used your own words against you, sir. What are you going to say to that now, huh? Your dad is right. I just don't think it's worth sacrificing a community. Well, if you took better fucking care of your homes, you wouldn't... We were in slavery! Nothing is perfect.